in those pageant drawings, uh, we saw examples of Rembrandt drawing from reality and reflection in one drawing. With these two drawings of a lady in North Holland dress, we see two separate drawings, one based on reality and the other on reflection. I've frequently found that Rembrandt drew much better from reality than he did from reflection, and this is very certainly the case here. The different quality of these two drawings suggests that one is drawn from reality and the other from reflection. But the proof of that lies in three separate areas. That is, the area that he didn't draw because he couldn't see, the hand which is seen holding a cloth in reflection, the same hand in reality, and the folds of the material which are pushed aside by the table. These three things seem to prove to me that it must be a drawing, a pair of drawings that is made from reality and from reflection and from the same point of view, from this very view that we see with the maquette. We have seen how Rembrandt's, the quality of Rembrandt's work deteriorates from reality to a reflection of that reality. Here, in this drawing of Jupiter and Philemon and Borkis, we see a further deterioration. In fact, there'd be no reason at all to think this was a drawing by Rembrandt. It has none of the normal quality of space and clarity of form that we expect to find in a Rembrandt. It must be Rembrandt because it's got his writing on the page, and the writing is telling us the story. It's as if Rembrandt is uh, reading his Ovid, has a vision of what he would like to make a painting of, and he did make a painting afterwards, and then he makes a drawing the best he can without reality to refer to. And here we see the full spectrum of what to expect from Rembrandt with reality, with reflection, and with nothing at all in front of him.